How to use Clipchamp Video Editor for Beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how to get started with the Clipchamp Video Editor. So let's get into it. Now Clipchamp is an all-in-one simple video editor and it allows you to edit videos professionally online. Plus they are available for free. So as a beginner, you have unlimited watermark free exports that you can do with their editor. So there's not going to be any sticker or watermark. Plus you have up to 1080p exports and free audio image and video stock and filters and effects. Now, to get started, all you have to do is go on to clipchamp.com. From here, just click on try for free. And once you do that, they will open up the Clipchamp video editor. So this is going to be your dashboard. And from here, you can see because I had already logged on with my Chrome browser, they automatically just create your account with your email address. That's all you need. You don't need anything fancy. And then after that, you can just get inspired with a template. So you can choose a template to get started with if you want to create a certain type of video. If not, if you want to, you know, just get started with your own video you want to edit it you have no idea what you want to do you just want to try out video editing then you can simply click on create new video over here and this will open up the professional video editor so from here you can begin customizing and adding media and this is your preview section over here you can expand this and upload your own media so you can upload videos audios images and i will simply upload a simple file from my downloads over here to show you guys how to get started. So we're just uploading this over here. You can also click on record and create. So you can record your screen and camera. You can do a camera recording, screen recording, or text to speech as well. Then you also have simple templates that you can get started with. So YouTube videos, Instagram videos, social media ads, intros, outros, TikTok ads. So some of the commonly used video editing features are going to be focused on when you are opening up those templates. Then you have your music section. You have stock videos that you can choose from. So you can add, you know, you can create long YouTube videos and add your own stock imagery to them as well. You also have stock images, you have text and graphics are super, super nice to add in these kinds of videos. You also have transitions and your basic brand kit so you can choose to build your own brand kit on the premium version of clipchamp where you can choose a specific color scheme specific stickers fonts lighting that you would like to add to your videos now to get started with video editing you can see that my video has now been uploaded and what i will do is i will just drag this and drop this to the bottom section over here and just like that our item has been added now from this white line over here you can preview any specific scene and then you can choose to fade in and fade out a specific frame as well. Now you can see this is how the basic video is, like this. Now to get started with the video, first off you can choose to fill, crop, structure, picture and picture, rotate, horizontally flip or vertically flip the video. So you can choose to, you know, increase or decrease the size. You can choose the aspect ratio depending on what kind of video format you're wanting to follow. So let's say I want to optimize this for Instagram. I can add a one by one. If I want to optimize this for normal YouTube videos, I can keep them in a 16 by nine inch frame. And then I can increase the size of our little canvas like this. And I can choose to fill this out or fit it in. And you can simply click on these fit options to make the video that you uploaded to fit in the specific frame that you have chosen. After that, you can click on the video or click on the, you know, imported file. And you can simply click on the left over here for speed and you can speed up or speed down the video. So let's say I increase the speed by two times and it will also shorten the amount of time of the video, obviously, like this. And let's say I want to make it super fast like this. So you can choose to increase or decrease the speed like so. So I will just play this back for you guys like so. And you can even choose to decrease the speed as well. So it appears a lot slower than it actually is. But we don't want that. We just want to have a normal speed, slightly faster than normal speed like this. And now just like that, I have uploaded my video and changed the speed. Now after that, you can click on add just colors to change the colors and blend them out. Then you also have some basic filters that you can apply to your video as well. Now after that, okay, you've added a basic video, but what else can you do? There are a lot of other things you might want to do. So first off, if you scroll on the bottom over here, you can click on text and add your own text. So you have basic statement text, typewriter text, circular text, stencil, 
groovy text, fireworks, different types of fonts, and you know, interesting text items that you can add. So you can see you have bouncing titles, funky titles, gliding titles, lower third, you know, all of those basic interesting versions that you see like this. So let's say I want to add a timer. So I will just click on add to timeline. And now I will place this right above the video. And then what I will do is I will increase this over here like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play this and you can see it's going to count down to the end of the video like so. And I want to make sure everything is aligned properly. And I'm just going to simply click on the text over here like so. So I'm wanting to make sure that the time coincides with our video over here. And once I've done that, I can fade this in or fade it out as well. I can also apply filters, adjust the colors, adjust the timer, obviously, as well. So I will show the milliseconds, show the limits, or maybe I want to count up instead of counting down. So you can choose that as well. I want to count down. And then I can also click on transform so I can position this in a certain area, choose the size, then I can go with the colors and then text. And like this, I have added some simple little timer. Now after that, I can add some more text. So for that, let's say I want to add a title, which is going to be shadow outline, and I will just click on add to timeline. Now after that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this below countdown timer because I want both of these items to appear simultaneously. So just like that, I'm going to place this over here, place it at the duration of the video as well. And then I will enter the text. So I will just click on the text box over here and you can go on ahead and change the text to whatever you might want. So we're just going to do a double click. You can click on transform, shadow, fade, filters, text. Obviously we're going to add our basic text. So it could be day in wildlife like so. And then I'm going to change the font. You can choose a different type of font as you wish as well like so and maybe i want the alignment or i want to change the color so i will just change the colors to black x color to black as well and then i might want to change the size of my text recenter it over here maybe i want to add some shadows onto this as well so you can enter that and now i will just show you guys a preview and this is what our video is currently looking like. And once you have added your video, so now after that, I can add the second scene. I can add a faded effect, so on and so forth. So I can just go into the stock video just to show you guys. I will just take a stock video of a bird to show you guys how to, you know, enter a transition as well. So I can just enter this into my timeline over here. And I can decrease the time like so. And to add a simple transition, what you can do is you can click on the sections in between and add your transition over here as well. So uh, you can see this is what it's going to look like, like so. So to just add a transition, you can move your preview bar to the center over here or just click on the center. And you can click on transitions on the right side of your screen. And then you can simply go on ahead and enter a transition. So let's say I just want to click on transition. And then you can choose any of the transitions of your choice to enter or place within that section. So this is going to be present for gaps, you know, those sections where, uh, you know, one video is transferring to the next one. So in this way, you can enter transitions as well. So I'm going to click on transitions and then you can enter whatever kind of transition that you might want. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. After you have, you know, finished your editing, just click on export on the top right. And after that, you can just export it in 480p, 720p or 1080p as well. So make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.